Hello, hello. This is TaylorMade Fan 1995, and I am doing my first in the bag segment. Um, this will be one of many videos, hope, fortunately, or hopefully. Um, hopefully, this goes well. Uh, my first club would be the TaylorMade Rasa Monza Spider. It sits up very nicely at a dress and um, center shafted putter, as you can probably tell. Um, it has same weights in both ports or weight ports. Um, it has the Tour Tradition Golf Pride Grip. Um, very nice putter. Very nice roll to it. Um, my next club would be the ZTP TaylorMade Wedge. This is my 60 degree. Um, the face is pretty messed up because I use it a lot. Um, it has the KBS shafts and the Lambkin Blue Tour Cross Line Grips. This has, um, all my clubs have the Lambkin Tour Cross Line Grips. Um, very nice grips. This has six degrees of bounce and it is my 60 degree wedge. Okay, my next club would be my Sand Wedge and this is 56 degrees, um, 12 degrees of bounce. Same, similar shaft, KBS, Wedge Flex, and it has the same grip as the other, as the, all the other clubs. Now I have the Burner 2.0 irons for um, gap through um, 5 iron. Uh, these are very nice clubs, very easy to control the distance, and they get uh, a good amount of spin on them when uh, you hit them really nicely, uh, which happens most of the time. Um, my next club would be the TaylorMade R11 Rescue. This is the four, um, 21 degree, um, hybrid, and it is very nice at address. It, you can align the ball in your club very well. Um, it has the, uh, Adila Rip Rescue Regular Flex st Stock Shaft. Um, same club over here would be my three hybrid uh, 18 degrees of loft set on standard both my hybrids are set on standard because they work very well with the loft that they're given um, very nice of the dress similar to the three, four hybrid um, same stock shaft regular flex um, this would be my next club would be my Five wood. This is a 19 degree set on lower because I try I flight the ball way too high with this club. Hopefully I'm gonna well I am gonna get a three wood coming in the mail pretty soon. I will definitely update you on the new club that will come in the mail. Um it is set at open because I tend to close the club face up way too fast, um releasing the hands as we all know about. Um very nice at address. Very easy to be very confident at address. Um, Fujikura blur shaft, stock shaft, 70 degrees regular flex. Um, and those are all my nice clubs right there. Uh, then comes the R11, 10.5, set at one half half a degree half a degree lower, um, at 10 degrees of loft, set at closed currently and the interesting thing I have about this club is um, they both have similar weights they're both the same si um, weight weight because um, I didn't like the fact that they had different weights in there so I decided to just buy another one and have the same weights this way it's this way it swims like a regular driver and I really like that more than just having different weights um, this has the blur Fujikura 60 degram regular flex it is a 45.75 inch i believe very nice club um set it closed i believe yes it is because i tend to close the club face up way too fast um which hopefully um or oh i open it way too fast i open it leave it open at impact so it, i hope i this um ensures that i have a nice closed face um at impact to promote more of a draw um, now to go inside my bag, 
obviously you gotta have Gatorade to propel yourself through the round. Um, let's see here. In here I have the rain hood and um, nothing else in that pocket, obviously. Um, in this pocket right here I have my picture of my granddad who tragically passed away way too soon. Um, I have the divot tool. Very nice divot tool, the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Very nice. Uh, helps you align your putts very well. Um, I got a I got a pen in there. A bunch of tees, very nice tees. Um, just regular tees. Let's see here. It's about, oh, and the uh, tool to change the loft and different settings on your driver, on my driver at least. Um, the balls I play are the. Callaway Diablo HX Tour. Uh, they just fit me very well and I enjoy playing them. They work better than tour balls for me since I um, I don't really like to spend the money on tour balls since it doesn't seem to be any different, really. I've tried the Penta before and it just it doesn't seem to to work as good as the Tour uh, Diablo HX Tour. So, those are Diablo HX Tour. Um, here are some practice gloves which I practice with. Um, to ensure that I don't waste all my good gloves. Um, my hat to make sure I keep myself warm during the round. Um, and some extra gloves. Actually, these are my good gloves, which I usually play. The tailor-made Stratus right hand and left hand, since I wear gloves on both left hands. Um, and some heating hand warmers, because these are very important when it's cold in Maryland. Which it is right now, unfortunately. Um... In this pocket, this is my valuables pocket, I got my wallet, um, I got the two um, Montgomery County courses that you can play, uh, the Hampshire, Hampshire Greens and Falls Road, very nice courses, I have the yardage books for them, and that's about all in that pocket. Now, finally, and most importantly, to get the right yardage, you need the right, you need the right, right caddy, and this is a very nice caddy. Um, Sky Caddy SG4 works very well for me and it just gives me the right data right when I need it. And, oh, I guess I have one more thing. The tour sticks help me align and practice properly. Um, well, that's my bag basically. Um, I hope you uh, like my video and uh, I will hopefully do some more um, of playing in this cold weather in Montgomery County at this point in time. It's uh, January, so it's obviously going to be freezing. Um, well, that is my golf clubs. Those are my golf clubs, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I am a very big TaylorMade fan. Uh, I would die for TaylorMade. It's very important to me. Very good clubs. Um, I wouldn't actually die, probably, but um, they're just they're just amazing clubs. They they perform at the highest quality, highest level, also. Um, well, that's my video, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. It was a pleasure doing this for you. And I will hopefully do some more videos. Bye.